been 20 years since I've seen the inside of this place. God, I didn't think I would ever need to come back here. Not since Jean's funeral. Some things never change. Still don't know how to make a good cup of coffee. That was the send off the whole town came out for. The local priest talking about the service. The Smith brothers sitting in the corner, planning the odd job like normal. Mr Higgins and his wife sitting near the window, laughing about their annual drink with Jean at Christmas. Ah, oh, Christmas was the time. No matter who or what you are, everyone would buy you a drink. That or getting a slap from the local drunk. It's funny how time has a way of repeating itself, no matter how hard you try and run from it. We used to joke about whose number is up next, until the numbers seemed to be called outside the natural order. I don't believe it was Jean's time. I don't know if that's me being selfish for wanting her around longer or knowing her death was unjust. Looking back on it all, all of the little things you used to do for me, you used to do for anyone, it seems so unfair. You know, I never understood the saying, good things happen to good people, when I've done everything wrong, but got to have the best thing I could ever have imagined. Mrs Higgins told everyone about the time you planned a street party. <laughs> you baked cakes and was wearing your Sunday's best, but you forgot to check the weather report for the day. Rained all day, but you still had fun and made sure everyone else did. If only time would repeat that rather than being back here thinking of the bad times. I tried so hard to forget. This Jean, this is for you. I'd like to thank you all for coming. Jean would have appreciated it. She would appreciate the sacrifices you've all made on her behalf. And I'm sure she's looking down on you all now. You'll always be my true one, Jean. They're all yours now. A wise man once said, life is like a box of chocolates. Unfortunately, you usually get the coffee cream. <laughs>